Welcome to Lake Tinaru on the Atherton Tablelands. It is a beautiful day here. It's a bit chilly, but we have a little surprise. Yep. And we are we are going to introduce to you our new tow vehicle. We are super excited. People who know us for a while know that we've been looking for a new tow vehicle. In fact, we had a 300 series on order. We did. But it just didn't tick enough boxes for us, did it? This, this being one of them, the, what yep. we're sitting on right now, the split tailgate was very big yep. for us. So, yeah, so, this is exciting. I took a wrong turn the other week. Yep. And, um, this is what we ended up with. This is Amazing. it. This is it. So we're super happy. We're going to show it to you right now. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And let's go. Alright, so here it is. We got the new Ford Ranger. Six cylinder. 3 liter engine. We got this in the XLT edition um, and one of the biggest reasons we chose this car was its towing ability. This car can tow 6.4 ton GCM, so that's 400 kilos more than our old Mazda. Um, we're not going to be going crazy with this car, we're not going to put a whole heap of stuff in it that we never use, we're going to keep it as basic as possible. So that's going to help us tow our current caravan and any future caravans legally and safely. But not just that, this car is probably the smoothest and the most effective engine I've ever driven. All right, we drove up the Coranda range yesterday uh, with the caravan and it just killed it. I didn't know the caravan was there. I know people say that all the time, but this is the truth. Going up that range, which has got some pretty hairy pins in there, this car just absolutely killed it. It just, the handling, the driving, the sound of the engine, the braking was just out of this world. So the other thing that this car has that the 300 series doesn't have is that this car has a tailgate. The 300 series doesn't have that and I still think that's a huge mistake. We use that tailgate uh, all the time. We've got Justine and I and we've got Riley, we've got the dog. We're up and down on that tailgate all the time. The fact that the 300 series didn't always left that sort of sour taste in the back of our mouth you know but also the tech inside this car is just out of this world i'm going to show you some of that it's just awesome we're so excited about this vehicle and i want to show you a little bit more of it so let's go all right so the xlt version has this chrome plating here not a massive fan of that i know justine's got some ideas about how you can blacken that out but you know it's it's okay huge ford symbol though great number plate but look at the lines on this it's just it looks so tough look at these look at these headlights these are so cool so these are the c clamp headlights uh when the when the car's running it looks really cool i'll show you some of that a little bit later on we are getting the arb bull bar put on this but not until we get back to gimpy so um in a couple of weeks that'll be on which will be great so uh you've got the 17 inch wheels here i know the sport has 18 inch these are 17. we've got the all-terrain tires here we'll see how well these go we may change those over a little bit later on you've got the labeling here v6 it tells you that we've got the now you can get this car also in a bi-turbo which is a four cylinder um, it's still got a 6.35 gcm which is still pretty good um, you know i don't know like just for us you know we just wanted to go the v6 and i think when you drive them you'll start to realize how much better this engine is so if you can get the v6 go for that coming around the back this is here's little ahsoka all right so so here's our tailgate all right so what we've got in here at the moment we've got all our swag stuff um we had this on the roof of our old car now they're not going to stay there they're just there until we get back down, head down south. You need to put it somewhere. So we just tied it all down in here. There's heaps of room. So you can put a, you can put a, a Euro style, a Euro size pallet in here. So um, it's uh, really wide, really deep. You put heaps of stuff in there. Hang on, who else we got here? Hang on. Uh, Riley's here, he can fit Riley. <laughs> all right. It's just too comfy up here. <laughs> okay, so. Heading around about the, the other side. Oh, look, check this out. How good is this step? Like, 
I tell you what, no more stepping on the wheel of a car. All right, you got this really cool step here. What a great idea, hey? What a super idea for a, you know, to get in and out of the back of a ute, hey? Love it. All right, they've also got these, um, I didn't know what these were, but underneath this flap here, you've got pre-drilled hold holes from Ford. So if you do choose to get and a, ca a canopy installed, the holes have already been drilled for you. So there's none of the drilling into the, into the actual vehicle, which ends up causing all sorts of issues later on. So that's a really great idea from Ford. All right, now, this car has the touring pack. So what you see here under the mirrors, you've got these cameras. So you've got the 360 degree camera uh, on the vehicle. Now the touring pack has these as standard. I think the Wild Track has them standard. Um, really, really good, awesome. Um, it does mean though, for now, that if you do get this pack, you're gonna have to get external mirrors because um, obviously the, these cameras have to be functional. So you can't just rip these out and replace them with other mirrors like clear view mirrors or whatever. But um, it's definitely worth it because this, three, this 360 camera is superb. All right, check this out on the inside. All right. In this car, we've got some really great tech. So we've got this 10 inch screen here. We can control everything uh, we need in the car from this screen. Currently we've got Apple, Apple Wireless CarPlay. That's, that's, uh, that's the stream from Justine's phone. Um, and one of the things about this car is that it's full-time four-wheel drive. And there's an option here, which is um, 4A, which means it's automatic four-wheel drive. So when we plug that caravan in, the car knows that we've got the caravan plugged in. It knows how long the, the van is, because I've programmed that in. Um, and it just changes the driving mode. It goes into a, a, a mode called tow mode. And in tow mode, it'll increase the torque to the back wheels. So it'll help with the, the traction of the back wheels as we're driving. Um, and it just changes the way the engine works. I don't really understand it, but the actual car just travels so much better than our old car towing a van. So again, you can, you can control that all through this screen and through the, the screen here um, at the rear of the steering wheel. You've also got this compartment here where you can, um, Justine puts her phone there while we're driving. You've got this hole here. Now in the wild track, you've got, this becomes a um, fold out uh, cup holder. In the wild track, this um, compartment here flips up. So if you know someone who's smart enough, they might be able to uh, change this and put a button in there and make it fold up by pushing it. Uh, that's just hollow behind there. So there's the, the compartment is actually there. Um, you've got um, all the different drive modes. So I've spoken about the tow mode. It's also got things like mud mode, slippery mode, snow mode. That could be good for next year. Um, but you can change all that via this dial here and via the buttons here on the, on the steering wheel. Now we've only had the car, the car's only got 350 k's on it, right? So we haven't really driven it enough to give you a long time review, but just from the short amount of driving we've done, the towing we did yesterday, it's unlike any vehicle we've ever driven. It's not like the traditional ute. It drives like more of a sedan. Um, so if you're used to driving a ute and you get into this, it's going to feel like luxury, all right? There's no bumps. It's just, it's just, it drives smoothly. You turn the steering wheel, it's precise, it's quick, it's quiet, it's just awesome. And we're really enjoying it, aren't we, babe? I'm loving it. Yeah. So this car is gonna do us for quite a while. Um, the seats are really comfy, heaps of room, heaps of leg room. There's more room in the cabin here than what we had in the Mazda, easily. Um, and yeah, we just, we just can't wait to get on the road more and and um, just keep towing our van around this awesome country. So that about wraps up where we are at the moment. Um, we've got another big surprise coming your way, but we're going to talk about that in a couple of weeks when we get back to Gympie. So we're looking forward to that. This car, I think, is going to do us really, really well. We're so happy we didn't get that 300 series. Um, oh, one more thing. 
here's our um, UHF radio. I know I've talked about this before, but if you are towing on country roads, you've got to get yourself a radio because to be able to communicate with the truck drivers and let them overtake you and just to have a communication source of people who, you know, want to know what you're doing. Um, this is a GME, look, it's a dual band radio. You know, I haven't actually even figured out how it works properly yet, but I know how to talk on it. it. Yep, so there it is there. We're going to learn more about that before before we head off on Saturday. So, um, yeah, you got oh uh, USB, um, A USB C connections here. Um, this is super neat. This radio, hey, the guys who installed it did such a good job. They just put a plug in there, and you know they just you know plug that back in. So you can take that out whenever you, if ever you want to. Um, yeah, this is a brake controller, by the way, um, on the car. This is this increases your gain. This activates the brakes on the trailer if, if the trailer gets into trouble. It's just so easy. So, looking forward to bringing in lots more episodes in this car. Um, so you'll see a bit more of this in season two uh, when it gets released. But don't forget this Friday, this Sunday, what am I saying? Episode five um, of our journey into South Australia begins. So in this episode, we'll actually be looking at, um, uh, as we actually in, enter South Australia and We've got some great, um, great footage coming your way on Sunday. So make sure you subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and we will see you soon. Catch you later.